I want to tell you about a guy called Daniel. Daniel's nation and the Jewish people were conquered by the Babylonians. The Babylonians were the most powerful nation at the time. And what they did was they wiped out most of a nation and took the best of the best back to Babylon to serve as slaves. Daniel was one of these slaves. He entered into lockdown that most of us can't imagine. And not only that, what they did back then, anybody who served in the king's palace or any young men, they were castrated so they wouldn't be tempted by the local Babylonian women. So we, we don't know for sure, but Daniel was probably castrated and we, we don't know anything about any of his descendants. And that's why we think this, this is so. So Daniel was living in lockdown, castrated, not a great situation, but Daniel was still faithful to the one true God. What the Babylonians tried to do was to try and mold and shape the minds of all the people that they brought back to Babylon. They tried to make them Babylonian, but Daniel and his three friends would not be molded and shaped. They wouldn't eat certain foods and drinks that they were given. They wouldn't bow down to the idols that were in Babylon. They remained firm. They wouldn't allow their mind to be locked down. And I think in our situation, we're in lockdown, but our mind can be free. We can still worship God and be free. It says later on in the Bible, not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, we're to be transformed by God. We're to have that hope and faith in him and in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Way back then, Daniel was not going to be molded and shaped, but he was going to serve faithfully. He was going to love and he was raised up through situations where the king at the time, Nebuchadnezzar, had these dreams and nobody could interpret them except Daniel. God gave Daniel wisdom, enabled to interpret them, and Daniel's esteem was brought high in the light of King Nebuchadnezzar. He was brought to the top. King Nebuchadnezzar passed on and a succession of kings uh, came and Daniel was still there. And Daniel was still faithful. He still interpreted dreams. He still was faithful to, to the one true God. Now, there was a, a situation that arose where others were jealous of him because he was high in society. And they tried to bring him down. They, they um, concocted a, a story or, or provoked the king to make a decree that nobody was allowed to pray to any other god except the Babylonian gods. And anybody who, who disobeyed would be killed. And then once that decree was written and signed by, by the king, they went where they knew Daniel would be praying. Daniel prayed three times every day. It's good to pray. But he was being persecuted because of his faith. And these people who were jealous of him brought that to the king. And the king liked Daniel, but he had to do what he'd written. And he took Daniel and threw him into a den of lions. Maybe if you heard the story before, but Daniel was in serious lockdown. Not only was he locked in, but he's with a den of lions who normally would rip him and tear him to shreds and enjoy their meal. But we know from the Bible that said, God closed the mouths of the lions. He gave them no desire to eat Daniel. In other words, he kept Daniel safe because Daniel had been faithful. And the next day, the king, who was praying all night that Daniel would be okay, came in and opened up that cave and let Daniel out. I was so happy and pleased that Daniel had escaped the mouths of the lions. Then the king took those men who were jealous and he threw them in and they were devoured. So Daniel got out of lockdown. And that was because he was faithful to his God. And he kept hope. He kept faith. He kept doing his best. He kept serving with the wisdom that God had given him to rule and to govern over many people. And that king raised Daniel up so he would be in charge, like second in command. So he had influence in society 
because God placed him there at the right time and the right place. And I know and I believe with all of my heart that if we follow God, if we follow his ways and his commands, if we trust in his salvation in Jesus Christ, that he will see us through this situation. He might even raise some of, of us up in his own um, esteem and in the esteem of other people. You know, God is able. You know, Daniel had these dreams and things were revealed to him about a coming Messiah that was going to come hundreds of years later, who we know to be the Lord Jesus Christ. And the next time I speak to you about lockdown, it's going to be the story of the Lord Jesus Christ. The greatest story in all the planet, the greatest salvation that is, that is for us. The greatest person who ever lived, perfect in all of his ways, loving in all of his ways, faithful and true in fulfilling his purpose. My hope and my trust is in the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, who Daniel predicted hundreds of years beforehand. Now, I hope you're encouraged. I have hope in my heart through anything. And I don't want anybody to be discouraged. If you're listening, there is hope for you. His name is Jesus Christ. There is a faith that you can have that will lift your heart and give you eternal purpose, not just purpose in this life. So I hope you're encouraged. I hope you consider. And I hope you read the Bible for yourself. There's a whole book called Daniel that you can read the story in detail. And also the New Testament where you can read about Jesus. But I hope to speak to you next time. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.